Hi, this is Dr. J. In this video, I want to show you how to use this grinding wheel. And hopefully you can see there's a plate here that just sits on the instrument, so I can just pull it out like this. And we have circular pieces of polishing paper, and this is just stuck onto this plate with an adhesive. So it's really quite easy. Uh, you just take the polishing paper and remove the back of it and then stick it onto the surface. And then when you're done, when it's used up, you just use this to pull it off and get a new piece of paper. There's really not much of a trick to that except to try to lay it down on the surface and push it down from one side to another to keep from getting big bubbles underneath the, the polishing paper because if you have big bubbles in, underneath the paper then it makes the surface uneven. So this wheel actually just sits, it's, it's heavy because it's made out of metal and it sits on this surface and there's a big pin and then two smaller pins and those just line up with the bottom of the wheel here itself. And so we can change these because we have actually another one over here. Pick it up. Okay, so you can have a different polishing paper on this one and be able to interchange between these two uh, polishing grits. So in this case, this is actually a finer grit one. It's at nine micrometers. So that's the size of the particles, so very fine. And this darker color is actually at 15 micrometers. And so it's the coarser grained of the two. Here you hold your arm still with the sample and the wheel will turn underneath it. So to make it go, all we do is push the button that says start on it and usually on these, just like our other grinding wheel, we have the ability to change the speed at which the wheel is rotating. So right now um, it might be going a little fast, so I could push buttons in this case to make it slow down to something I think is more appropriate. The other trick with this, just like our other grinding wheels, is you have to hold on to your sample because if you don't, it will go flying out um, from underneath your hand and off into the um, side of the instrument. So there's a little bit of trick to this because you've got to hold on to the sample but not push down really, really hard because you need the wheel to slide underneath it. And it just takes some practice in getting used to your particular wheel to know um, how hard you need to push down and um, how much you have to hold on to the sample. Change the surface at all. So at 15 micrometers and 9 micrometers, you can start to see a shiny surface. So you can actually tell when you have achieved some of the polish because you can see it if you dry the surface off. And so you'll want to turn off the wheel. Um, you also obviously want to turn off the water before you leave because we don't want to have a flood. And then finally, if your instrument is like this one where it actually turns on and off uh, because there's a control panel, you also want to remember to turn the instrument itself off. And uh, finally, when you turn everything off, if there's still a lot of water in the area, it's always good practice to clean that up.